All right, I've, as, as I've spoken about in the last section, at the end of the materials part of this course, I mentioned that I'm going to tell you how to apply all the principles we've learned up to this point onto other render engines and shaders from other render engines. I'm going to start with Corona. If you don't know about Corona, it's a really cool render engine, and there's actually kind of a beta version out there that's forever free. So that's much cheaper than $1,000 or whatever V-Ray costs. And the newest version, the final release version, is also not very expensive. I think it's maybe like $200 or something like that. I haven't checked recently. But anyway, Corona is a fairly powerful render engine. And many of you might be using it already. I don't know. But the point is, it's, che it's a cheap alternative to V-Ray. Now, it doesn't have all the things that V-Ray has. If you look in here... It doesn't have its own section for materials like V-Ray does, but it does have these Corona materials in here. The important ones that you'll use a lot, well, really the important one is going to be this Corona material, which is the equivalent to the V-Ray standard material. There's also a Corona light material, but like V-Ray, Corona material actually has self-illumination built in as well. So let's just look at some of the settings of this and see how it translates from V-Ray since that's what we've been learning thus far. So here, the important thing to remember when you're looking at this is this little note that pops up here. It says both the constant color and text map will be multiplied with this number. Setting 0.5 and using white color is equal to using 50% gray color. I wish it would stay up. Or using text map with output level 0.5. Okay, so turning the output of your text map down to 0.5. So, if you put a text map in here, you'll probably want this at 1 because it will be multiplying the text map times 1, meaning it will show at full strength. This is like putting it to 50% in V-Ray, but in here it would be 0.5. So you can see the color just got darker because I turned the color down to 0.5. If there was a text map in there, it would be turning that down to 0.5. Okay, so what we want to do is maybe create a similar gold material that we had in V-Ray and just using Corona so I can show you how to do it. So here we go with the gold. We'll get the basic diffuse color, something like that. We'll put it to 1 because we want that full color being shown right there. Let's bring up a preview. Okay, right now that looks like mustard. We might go a little darker on that because again, it's a metal material. Now refraction, there's not gonna be any here, but this works very similar to V-Ray. Again, both the constant color and text map will be multiplied with this number. So if you set it to one, or if you set it to white and set it to one here, that will be completely reflective. Okay, same goes for refraction. If you set it to 1 and left it white, it would be clear, perfectly clear. Now the index of refraction is going to be built in, so it's automatically doing a Fresnel reflection. Okay, we actually want this back at 0. If you right-click on the ticker, it will put it back to default, which is 0. The reflection we do want here pretty high. We'll put it uh, a kind of a yellowy, goldish color. Because again, metals get a lot of their color from what? We talked about it. It comes from the reflection. Let's set this even brighter. And the glossiness is going to be just like other... Hold on. Let's turn the grid on so you can see the reflection. The glossiness will be just like V-Ray, where you can set it to 0.8, and you'll start seeing these highlights blur a little bit, like that. And what we can do with this to up our reflections quite a bit is... Oh, that's too high. That's not what I meant to do. Let's put our index of refraction maybe somewhere around there. Now you'll see that anis anisotropy is built in here too and the rotation is built in. We've already seen that with the V-Ray materials. So it really translates straight across quite well. The only thing that's different is kind of these numbers might be a little odd to you at first, but once you understand what this little note is telling you, then you'll uh, get it. It'll click if you've, if you've gone through my course already and understood what we were talking about previously. So opacity, so this, don't confuse this with refraction. Refraction is like glass, light refracts through glass. Opacity means an opacity map. So 
if you want like a decal or something or for leaves we often use opacity map so those are two different things this is going to be a black and white map making part of your bitmap invisible basically absorption okay so this is some of this uh self self subsurface scattering stuff built in these are things that you'll understand if you've watched now the settings are going to be a little different but you know what these things are all about there's self illumination here and that's really all there is to this material and of course there's a map for everything there's actually displacement built straight into this thing too right here okay so like the v-ray material it has a lot of power built into it it is missing some of the things that the v-ray material has and it has a few things that v-ray material doesn't have directly in here and so it's really just the same thing but it, it's presented a little bit differently so like i said in the intro to the course if you follow this course you'll learn principles that can be applied regardless of what render engine you are using so let me just finish off our gold here let's make this a 0.6 and we've got a nice reflection going on there's our gold material something like that obviously the preview looks a little different but there it is that's a corona material now corona rendering is different this course is not about rendering but really corona rendering is very straightforward it's almost just press it and wait and it progressively gets better and better and better and you tell it when to pause so if you haven't yet check out corona and if you're already using corona hopefully this course has taught you some of the important principles of what all these settings inside these different materials actually mean so in the next course we'll go over some other different types of materials besides v-ray